City leaders taking more steps to welcome Laprino Foods to town. Good evening, I'm Lauren Motter. I'm Brian Mudd. Laprino opening up shop here is the largest capital investment in Lubbock history. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to know where we are in the process, and KMAX Ryan Chandler is here to tell us what to expect in the coming months. Yeah, the city says they've been working with the company every day since the governor came to town to announce their plans seven months ago. They'll break ground as soon as this June. The facility won't be operational until the end of 2024, but the city says it'll be well worth the wait. They choose Lubbock because of the environment that we have here. It's an environment full of dairy and friendly to business, soon to be home to the world's largest producer of mozzarella. The city has been busy preparing for their groundbreaking in June. City Council on Monday authorizing Laprino's tax abatement, exempting the facility from $22 million in property taxes over the next decade. The Lubbock Economic Development Alliance calls that thank you money for the economic benefits to follow. There's not many uh, plants of this size in the world, and uh, for Lubbock to have one is pretty incredible. This is the future location of Laprino Foods. It's a huge plot of land and just east of the loop. It just grows crops right now, but soon city leaders say it's going to grow the local economy by more than a billion dollars a year. An initial investment of over $418 million, expected to create 675 jobs and infuse over 10 billion dollars into the economy over a decade and the company now tapping local graduates and even high school technical programs for their future workforce. It's incredible um, what's taken place in the last six years and the next six years are going to be uh, really special. And there's a lot of great things that are happening in our community and I couldn't be more proud of it. Now that all sounds great but what about those concerns about having such a huge facility? How could that impact the quality of life in Far East Lubbock? Well, the city was sure to clarify today that this is a cheese factory. It is not a milk plant. That is, there won't be any cows at this facility, so there's no need to worry when the wind shifts. The city says Laprino has been a helpful and an environmentally conscious member of their past communities, and they look forward to the partnership.